Hi guys, today let's take a look how to install Maven on your MacBook. I will be doing it on uh, macOS Sonoma in DSH terminal. So let's see, uh, first of all, step zero, check that if it's already installed and configured in your system or not. So run terminal, run this command, mvn space dash v. So you see command not found. Uh, then <coughs> go to this link and download uh, binary zip archive, this one. So here it is on this page, binary zip archive. Click on it, download it. Open it to an archive. Then, so basically you can uh, unarchive it and store it in any folder and point it to, to this, your installation to this folder, but I would suggest you to put it inside your user folder. Again, it can be a, any other location as well, but I wouldn't suggest you to store it, uh, to leave it in downloads folder because sometimes some people clean up downloads and so on and so on. So, on. so in order not to lose it, just store it somewhere safely in some safe folder. Like your users, in most cases, you wouldn't be clean up anything over there. So to do that, uh, in your terminal, you can run cd slash uh, then run open space dot command to open this uh, folder in your finder just drag and drop it this is my user folder so drag and drop it in here and you see it's already under unarchived after i clicked on it from a browser <coughs> If we, if it will be not an archive, just double click it in your downloads folder in, and uh, macOS will unarchive it. So you see there is a folder bin inside and some other files. This is this step number two. Step number three, the most important one, add the environment variables to your terminal config file. So um, terminal config file is also stored in your user folder. But the thing is that uh, I have, uh, you see on the top in the name of the this terminal window, it says ZSH. It means that ZSH terminals is being used uh, if you have uh, bash written in here for some reasons, then uh, it means that your terminal is using bash as a command line tool. So how to check if uh, you already have some config file or you need to create it uh, as a new file. You can go in Finder, the same our open folder. And if you click command shift dot, you will show on hide uh, hidden files. In my case, since this is uh, ZSH terminal, I should look for, and you should look for ZSHRC, .zshrc file. For bash, it will be uh, .bash underscore profile. So if you don't have it, uh, run command to create it. For ZSHRC, it will be touch .zshrc. For bash profile, it will be this one. It will create a new empty file for you and then you can open it and add your configuration. So <coughs> let's open it and add these two lines. Uh, so this this first one M3 home is uh, pointing to, to the location of uh, unarchived Maven folder. In my case it will be so this uh, symbol and slash means user folder. In this in user folder, it will be the path to this folder. And we also need to add the path variable. To add it to the end of path variable, there will be some existing pre-existing values inside. So we have to assign 
dollar sign plus uh, colon and then add uh, our newly created variable and uh, slash bin. So basically you need to co copy this, open this file, just double click on it. You might have something inside added by other programs. Just add this at the beginning, save it by hitting command S, close it by hitting command Q. Um, and then you need to restart all the terminal windows in order to apply this uh, newly created configuration. So I'm closing my terminal. I'm opening it again. And I'm running again in the N space dash V. So you see it doesn't show anymore that command not found. Uh, it shows Bavin installation, some Java version and some additional information. So basically it means that Maven is successfully configured and can be used from your command line. Uh, just in case if you will see some error messages related to Java or Java Home, you might want to add uh, also export Java Home variable pointing to your GDK installation. But in my case, it works uh, without it, as you might see. There is no errors. That's it. See you next time.